Welcome to Tangling Along With Me. Today we are going to make this pattern from tanglepatterns.com and I actually have two large rooms here for making patterns in um, but I think I'm going to divide one of these rooms like that so I have two rooms here instead uh, and we are going to use this room for the tangle for today uh, and that was this one. It is a very simple tangle and I actually kind of like it. Uh, I think I'm going to start up in this corner here just because I have a nice uh, corner to start in here. So I'm making a triangle and this might be a little too small for the pattern but let's try it out. So I start from the top of the triangle and draw a line down from the top of the tangle, uh, the triangle and down and again from the top and down. And then I'm going to aura the inside here of this corner and paint that black, draw it in like that and the same over here. and draw this in and the last one there we go that is actually the pattern so now I'm just going to fill out this entire space with triangles that looks like this and if your triangles is a bit crooked or not straight it's all fine but it's the same uh, way of doing it all the way from the tip to around the middle on the other side. So tip to around the middle and you will have that crisscross pattern in the middle. And then you take the point of the triangle and you aura that point out. I can do that a little better. There we go and color that in. In the other corner as well. How thin you or how thick you are making the aura line is all up to you and what you like to do. And I had a little white spot in there. The last one as well. If you don't like coloring in with the 01, you can go and take your 08 and color in these uh, parts. Um, but I think they are quite small today, these uh, parts, so I'm just gonna use my 01. And I'm just gonna continue. I want my uh, triangle to be right here. So I am going from the middle to the edge, or to the point, back and forth from the point down to the middle line, and then the O-ring. Remember to relax in your hand while making this. Enjoy every stroke, even in the coloring. I know some people have a hard time enjoying the coloring at the start, but uh, if you let yourself just 
um, only think about the strokes you are doing and just relaxing, breathing, taking your time. Then the coloring of uh, rooms like this can be really, really relaxing and good. I personally always loved coloring books because I didn't have to think about what to do. I just could color in one of the rooms in the book and I always ended up with something that I really liked. So give it some time. You might come to love coloring in rooms like this. I'm continuing my uh, square from the one I just did. the middle from the point from the point to around the middle line and again this way and this is gonna be a bit bowed because my triangle is not that straight and then the spot for coloring in and this one is getting quite big, so I might go and take my 08 for this. Yeah, let's take the 08. It's right here. I'm just coloring in the shape that we got here. Going back to my 01. Mm, I can have a tiny one right here. It's gonna be a little crooked as well. There we go. That's gonna be a fun looking one. Let's see, that was from tip to around the middle. So you don't have to make your triangles all square in this pattern and I really like that. The result is still quite cool. This is a big drama tangle. Adds a lot of drama to your drawing and I really love those drama tangles. I don't know what it's about these but it's like, oh, I just like it. And I think they're a lot of fun to do. I 
but I personally also do like the coloring in so that could be a reason let's see I can make one right here in the corner down there and then the crisscross thing inside of my triangle go um, yeah I'm gonna I'm gonna go with the flow here see what's happening and then oops that was a little too close there we go and the last box that looks a little more normal but this is actually kind of a funny one with this wonky shape in there now let's see, take the old one for 08 for that that's a big box here And back to the 08 to color in my small rooms here. Let's see, I can go from this point and down here. So that's gonna be a small one. Remember to breathe and relax in your hand. Don't squeeze around your pin. 
have a very nice light grip so you can be really relaxed in your hand as well because if you are gripping too hard on your pen then it's hard for your head to find this sin place, this relaxing place where everything is relaxed and that's right where we want to be at the relaxed place so I can have a few more here I, I think I can have at least one or two triangles more let's have a look let's do this one first This one is again getting this kind of funky looking wavy thing down here and I really like that. Gives it a little more to look at. And the same down here. There we go. That's a big one. Let's take the 08 for filling that in. Very nice. And I might have to divide the last piece here in two as well. And divide it up. Pieces in there. Back to the 08. And again, you can just continue with your 01 if you rather want that. all up to you. You could even find another color and color these in with a red or a brown or blue, maybe even purple. That could look so cool too if it, this was in color. There we go and the last tiny piece here that's a little wonky triangle again but I think it's gonna be a nice ending on this one and there we go and the black parts here the orange Remember that is always in the corners we do that. The corners of the um, triangle. Filling 
it out nice and slowly. And let's take the last one. It has this little wonky uh, black spot here. Like that. So that was the tangle for today. It was this one. I had a lot of fun with this one and I think it's a very nice drama tangle. It fits right in there and makes some really cool things uh, with this drawing. Thank you for watching. Have an attitude of gratitude.